Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Dishonored. We will just start the game without much talking because I just want to play the next mission. So you did the business, did you Corvo? I'm not one to speak against my betters, mind you, but if anybody ever deserved their fate, it was those Pendletons. What business are you talking about? Oh, I, uh, grown-up business, girl. I mean, your ladyship. Forgive me. It's okay. I heard a lot of grown-up business at the Golden Cat. Oh, I should concentrate on piloting this boat. Young lady Emily, I'm Callista. I'll be caring for you and schooling you while you're with us. Pleased to meet you. As am I. Would you like to see your room in the tower? Can I see it? Yes, you may. You'll get to see it all. The entirety of the hound pits. Good. I think I'll like it here. I'll go with Callista, Corvo. I'll see you later. Bye. You do not fail to impress. Armed with a blade, you've changed the course of the city forever. And I never used and the with blade. the Pendleton twins gone, our own Lord Pendleton will assume their votes in Parliament. In one night, you've done more than most men do in a lifetime. I need to speak to you soon. But for now, Lord Pendleton requests your attention. Lord Pendleton requests my attention. Oh. What is up, bro? Corvo, the Loyalist Conspiracy thanks you for your work. I don't know if I can. My own brothers. We never believed that you killed the Empress. It made much more sense that the Royal Spy Master, now the Lord Regent, was behind it, aided by some of his key allies. We spent a lot of money and exposed ourselves to great risk in getting you out of prison. But we did it because we believe that you're the one that can make the difference. Oh. And have locks looking for you. Why is he so mad? I didn't kill them. It's weird. All right, my friend. Martin's devised Hello, our next boys. move. There's a footnote in Campbell's journal that tells us the Lord Regent's mistress sat for a portrait with Sokolov, the painter and royal physician. He'll be able to give us her name. Sokolov lives on Caldwin's Bridge about half the time, out over the river. The catch is that I'm afraid you've got to head out right away. While Sokolov is at his apartment, Samuel can get you close to the bridge. But you'll have to find Sokolov. Bring him back here intact, and it'll enable us to make our next move. I can't believe what you've done so far. Escaping from Coldridge, taking down the High Overseer, recovering Emma. You make this old military man proud. That's it then. That's where you've got to go right now. Where is Pierre? What if I want to buy stuff? stuff? Ask me for any gear you need. I will. New powers cost eight wounds. I have three. Possession could be a good one. 
Press left mouse button to physically merge with an, any animal's body for a limited time. You can end possession by pressing left mouse button again. If your host were to die, you would endure the same fate. Small animals can survive the possession process. At level 2 you can also possess people. While inside another human body you are too clumsy to do anything but basic actions like opening doors or carrying objects. Bone shards. Do I have anything new? Hello, Samuel. Let's go. Off to Caldwin's bridge, sir. We'll get our sleep later. Cool. Just climb aboard when you're ready. I'm ready. Caldwin's bridge. The royal physician. You've been asked to abduct Anton Sokolov, the royal physician and head of the Academy of Natural Philosophy. Your new allies want to obtain from Sokolov the name of the Lord Regent's mistress, a mysterious ally, one of his most powerful noble supporters. Sokolov lives in a large apartment somewhere atop Caldwin Bridge. What do you think, Corvo? Caldwin Bridge. You've been in the city for years, but you lived in Dunwall Tower with the late Empress, so maybe you haven't visited the bridge before tonight. Something to look out for. See all them lights on the water? That's right, we'll be spotted for sure. You're gonna have to shut off their power before I can pick you up. Now, about bringing Sokolov back alive. He's smart. Maybe even smarter than Piero. Got the whole of Dunwall under his thumb with all that natural philosophy business. New technology, potions and the like. Seems dangerous to me. But what do I know? Everything. Here we are. I'll meet you at the Archers under Sokolov's place when you're ready, Corvo. Assuming, of course, you've taken care of those floodlights. So there's only one rune and one bone charm? Okay, yeah, I got it. Severely deadly beating. Citizens and visitors to our city, by order of the region, the curfew is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. Attention all citizens. No pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. Mm, maybe I can. Yeah, so how do I go over there? Slow off.
not sure what the point is. On this bad boy. Gotta be here somewhere. I hope this doesn't count as spot. Uh, Slip, slip. Okay, so now I need to go somewhere, right? Maybe pull this lever. Yes. Flip. <coughs> oh, this was the bone charm, and I didn't even wanna. Some was food and bullets. I didn't even wanna come here. Alright. I did this for nothing. Again, what you'll do is slag John's Battle Street Boys jump. You already know. Ooh, turn around, turn around. <coughs> Sir. Yes. I think, yeah. Oh, maybe now here I'll find more. Curse the plague and this blasted curfew. How is anyone supposed to be decent? Yeah. Well, now, Ooh. Mr. Cratchit, even a wealthy man like you needs the city wall. Gangs are cutting throats and smashing windows left and right. And the weak. I need more men. Firing. Ah. Blasted curfew. How is anyone supposed to make a living? Well now, Mr. Pratchett. You are a wealthy man. What the? A man like you needs the city. Gangs are cutting throats and smashing windows left and right. And the weak. the combination 
Remember the truth is in the paintings. So it's the truth starts in the crowded streets, continuing to we see anchored whaling ship from there, find the slaughtered slaughterhouse. The truth will be the truth to you. Uh, so I need to go through crowded streets, uh, whaling ship, and the slaughterhouse. And then I'll find whatever it is I'm looking for. From a volume on Morley geography and culture. It's said that the history of Morley is as colorful as a quilt made from all the flags ever flown and all the clothes ever worn. The land itself hides from the sun under layers of clouds. Under a, under a layer of clouds. And thick grey moss hangs from the trees. But the spirit of the people who live in Morley dances like firelight. Among the people, the love of good food and drink is legendary. With stews and roasted meat dishes most often used to fight off the cold and the dreariness. The nation has a rich tradition of poets, musicians and philosophers, even among the poorest folk. Intellectual tomes and bar songs alike were often penned in Morley. A late entry into the empire, the Morley insurrection is still a sore point for many natives. And independence is a proud character trait among the people. Somehow get into the set. Lord Nathan Bale is shaking with outrage. How dare you, sir? Clothed in. Clothed so in my very home. I should hand you over to the watch, depraved Tidian. Prince Callistar moving closer. It's a harsh welcome for. No, I already read this one. I need to get to the crowded street so I think this is it. <laughs> Journal entry part one. Month of seeds, what will I do? She left on to create things back to her family. I as if that will help. The plague will get us all. Month of nets. I've been offered to work in one of the whaling boats. I'll be leaving this place at last. Later I will find the place on Tivia to the north. The winters are cold there, no rats, no plague. Last day of the month. My fortunes have turned. I found something shiny, shiny and old. Looks like whalebone, which is supposed to be lucky. My cousin e Emil is coming soon, bringing a bird to roast. I'm going to see if any of the shops are still open. Maybe I can buy apples or some potatoes. I put my whole, my whalebone carving on a shelf, but I could not see it from some parts of the room, so I made a little pedestal for it. It looks nice in the candlelight. Sometimes I dream about it. In the dreams it makes sounds like the wind through a broken window. Some nights the wind sounds like a voice. 
I was supposed to go to the docks to ship out, but I remember too late. It was days ago. Oh, tradition. Hello. Rivers change course over many lifetimes, and eventually all bridges tumble down. A thousand years ago, there was another city on this spot. The people carved the bones of whales into runes and inscribed them with my mark. Children still find them washed up in the river mud. Anton Sokolov has made a great study of my runes, but he's not special like you are. He wasn't chosen, and he doesn't wear my mark, so he can't unlock their secrets. Sokolov believes there are specific words and acts that can compel me to appear before him. He searches old temples in Pendicia and ruined sub-basements in the flooded district. He performs disgusting rituals beneath the old abbey. But if he really wants to meet me, he could start by being a bit more interesting. Okay. What did it say? The notes? Anchor dwelling ship. Oh, yes. Is the elixir you need to sell on Colwyn's bridge this week? When you moved everything, bring the money back to the distillery. I'll give you your cut and next week's shipment. If you're too dumb and you get caught, throw the elixir in the river so that they can't give it to Sokolov. I don't want him figuring out what you're doing, then throw yourself in the river too. So. So it said something about paintings. What did it say? Crowded street, anchored whaling ship, slaughterhouse. There's a crowded street. Maybe here. Three. Four, so Brother Street, so it's four. Yeah, it's 
so the forest crowded streets slaughterhouse is three four three i think this was seven so it's crowded streets so four seven three If who comes back, brother? How do you even know I'm here? This was the no smartest not. idea. Please don't move. Okay. <laughs> One of these for some bread and pistol ammo that I don't even need. A bit of uh, money. I'm here.
about to go and kill myself. What fur? The lights are working perfect. Well, there's nothing to do. And I like climbing the pillars. Just leave the oil to me. Nice. <coughs> Why they always gotta put me with you, I just don't know. I got you. There doesn't seem to be anything else except those two over there. And that's why I can just do this. Unless I forgot something I'm going on. Anything cool over here? Nope. What the fuck is that? Oh! Jesus, that's scary. Sokolov's house. There's just another room. Make sure they keep turning. It would look very bad in the black. Very bad indeed. Should be yes, nice. This now that the wheels aren't turning anymore, what does that mean? For me? Nothing really that. Because I can just. tonight indeed I believe so are oh, you turn around as well please Locked from the other side.
I do not fear the void, nor am, nor am I concerned with the spiritual sanctity of the weak. For I am now his herald, his chosen, having seen his sublime vault where eternally he feeds upon the substance of the void. Alone in Orchado's ship, the floor painted red with light. I draw designs with my fingers and gaze through the portals at the land rising below. There I'll build the first monument to his glory, a rotting wound in the flesh of nature. Patiently I'll, bu I'll build, waiting our arrival, O great Sy uh, Sy Sion? My stomach twisted as the engines of the odd vessel roared louder. It was the creation of Orchado, third prefect from the Academy of Natural Philosophy. He was exhilarated, savoring each of the small craft's undul undulations. Orchado pulled a lever and a great gout of smoke surrounded us. The smell of burning whale oil grew unbearable as the machine propelled itself upward. It was I was too afraid to look through the window, which suddenly didn't feel thick enough. As if knowing my thoughts, Overseer Brin looked at me and smiled. Recite some of the litany, my pupil. It will protect your heart from the turpitude of the void on our way to outer sphere. On this outer sphere, too. Chada was uh, elated, like a boy of 16 on the eve of Huge Fest. When we are back in Bristol, I will be named Royal Physician. Or you will be burned for heresy, Third Prefect. All depends on what we find when we get there. My master voice was different. As if the air of the outer spheres added qualities normally absent uncertainty weakness fear i risked another glance at the monolithic structure in the distance it was a wonder for our child a puzzle for overseer brin and for me a towering monument to emptiness a magnificent shrine to madness Just get my little find a way to keep these rats off me so that I can get out. Thank you for helping me. I thought it was safe. There were rats. So many rats. Completely infested. I know some folks aren't superstitious, but I swear, the rats showed up after a man came through, waving around an amulet of some kind. It looked like it was made of bone. But he's dead now, like the others who were living here. Thank you, miss. Take my leave now. Let's go to Soklov's house. So we have a bone charm and a Higgins, I recently got a tip about the stash hidden in the north end of Cogdon Bridge, another crazy bastard keeping all his shiny stuff in a secret room. I was told you need to turn the faucet in an old sink three times to open some kind of secret door. No information on the value of what's in this room, I only heard about the street 
speaker hanging over the road just outside the door. Sorry about that, mate. Don't forget my share if you find it. I hear. Why did they come over here? For nothing. Must say, I don't even know where I am. We should come up in my. I'm always using this. Let me know if you want to gamble on the hound Sokolov is going to do something terrible to us. You're you. It's just money, so I don't really need it. I could just <coughs> not give a damn. Right? I think it's so. okay. in the mouth could be that, right? Ooh.
Ross notes to Howl Creek. Captain Howl Creek, when you and your men arrive tomorrow, I'll be working in my greenhouse on the roof. I know the Lord Regent wants you to follow me at every moment, but please avoid the ceremony. The experience I am conducting, I am quite sensitive and mine must finish with taste. This lady. What is she going on about? So far. Both of them just cool. House key. Is this here? No, it wasn't. Because if it was, it would say so. I think I read this. Maybe not. Okay, first of all, I hear you.
turn my hopes and energies to Formula 25, which in conjunction with a high heat... What? How did you get past all the guards? Your tattoo is quite unusual. It is reminiscent of markings I've studied on cave walls far from the city. Who sent you, Piero? That terrible fool. There's no need to be his lap hound. You and I can come to an agreement. One that I'm sure will please you more than anything Piero dreamed up. Who are you? What is it you want? Money? Elixir against the plague? And I got past all the defenses that I think I can assume. But you wanted me dead. Now. The pen now's report. Requested to disassemble the black market elixir we believe be coming from one of the abandoned distilleries. No doubt it's inferior to your formula or even Piero's remedy. The people are desperate. We have not been able to identify the additional ingredients. Perhaps you'll have better luck. One thing of note, some of the men in the watch claim when pressed to have purchased and used this stuff from time to time since it's cheaper than either of the popular brands. None of them report any illness or complications, so while it may not protect from the plague as well, it doesn't seem harmful. We wouldn't be having this conversation. Exactly. Everything within my power to give you is yours. You'll just let me go? I can see you are an intelligent man, so you understand there will be repercussions if you should harm me. I am the royal physician, head of the Academy of Natural Philosophy. Stay back! Have you no heart? Please! Just sleep. Mr. Sokolov. I don't have anything to take. Thank you, whoever you are. You kept me in a cage, like an animal. The pain is horrible right now, so I'll just hide in a corner and leave when I'm feeling better. You do that. Oh wait, yes, I need to take them with me. Oopsie. Samuel. The royal physician himself. He made a neat job of it. Drop him here and we'll be off. Will be. Mm, I think I have everything, right? Yeah, let's go back. Yes, we have everything. Didn't kill anyone, never detected. Let's go. Interrogation. The royal physician Anton Sokolov is now in the custody of the loyalists. Through Sokolov, it will be possible to strike directly at those closest to the Lord Regent. How corrupted will be will the most brilliant man in the Empire be? He must be swayed or coerced into telling what he knows. Let's play the cutscene and then we'll end the episode there. They set up a cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up at worse places. Guess we all have at that. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The royal physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machine. 
He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. Thank you. I'd like to wind down first and say goodnight to him. Which we will do in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Let me just repeat the game. I know we just saved it. Let me just be sure. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, this, I think, was a quicker episode, a shorter one. But I still enjoyed it. Oh, sorry. Sorry, yawning. <laughs> it's 6 a.m. And I just finished recording for one hour so anyways uh i think it was a shorter one but it was still nice i was quicker with what i had to do luckily i remember that save code um but yeah i don't think i'm gonna try and get every single for example coin or something like that i would like to get all of the collectibles But uh, if I don't get to them, I don't get to them, you know? I'm more interested in the story. I do want to get the runes and the bone charms, but that's also just, I don't know. I think with the, just with the teleport, you can do so much stuff that you don't really need the other powers. Although the other powers would be cool to use. Some of them are useless if you're trying to do a stealth run. For example, the I think force push or wind blast or whatever. But yeah, if you like the video, don't forget to leave a like. If you want to see more videos from me, don't forget to subscribe. And that's it. Bye.